In this demo, I'll be walking you through how to set up Vagrant specifically for Ubuntu. And in this demo, I'll be using Ubuntu 15.04. So let's go over to my Ubuntu box and let's get started installing Vagrant. Here I am at jaceacademy.com and I'm under virtual environments. And what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and click on this Vagrant install link. I have also provided that link below this video, so you can actually just click on that link, and that link will take you over to vagrantup.com forward slash downloads. And here you find different versions of the uh, Vagrant to download. So for example, if you're running a Mac or Windows, you can download it here. But since we're running a Ubuntu machine here, we wanna go ahead and select a Ubuntu version. And for me, that will be 64-bit Debian. And it's gonna download a dev file, so I'm gonna click keep. And this is gonna go ahead and download that file now. Okay, it looks like this finished downloading. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this depth file now. This is gonna open up the software center and we'll hopefully be able to install this. There we go, I'm gonna click on install. And I should be prompted for my password. I will enter my password here. And this goes ahead and it starts the install process. It looks like the finished uh, install went ahead and completed. I'm gonna go ahead and close this window, close the browser, and I'm gonna open up the terminal here. And inside the terminal, what you wanna do is you want to make sure that Vagrant is installed and configured correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom in here so you guys can see this. So what you want to do is you want to do Vagrant minus V, and this is going to output you the version of Vagrant. You can also do Vagrant version, and this will check if your version that you're running is the latest version, which it is. 1.8.1 is the latest version, which is the one we're running. Now that's all there is to installing Vagrant on Ubuntu. In the next video, we'll be covering how to actually start using some of these command line tools. See you there.